tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Oh, Daniel Tiger and his family are ready for their trip. I wonder where they're going, tiny fans. They're in the Fisher Price van. Everyone hop in. Let's find out where we're going. All right, get in, Daniel. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Oops. Make sure it's on properly and you're sitting upright. Everyone buckled up? Yeah, Dad. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh oh, Mom Tiger, you need to put your seatbelt over your shoulder. You need to wear it properly. Recently, our family was going for a drive to the park so we could give Puppy a walk. We came to a stop sign and a car didn't stop behind us and hit our car. Luckily, we were wearing our seatbelts. We have a little bit of neck pain, but we're going to be okay. Our car got a little bit damaged, so it's going to need to get fixed. And if we weren't wearing our seatbelts, we could have all gone flying to the front of the car or even through the windshield. Be sure to always buckle up on any car ride, even if it's close to home. Now let's find out where we're off to, tiny fans. <gasps> Here's a hint. Who is that? It's Tinkerbell. <gasps> Daniel Tiger and his family are off to Disneyland. Let's go. And here we are at the Disneyland entrance. We wait our turn in line to enter. And look over there, it's the Disneyland train station. Choo choo. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. There are some of our favorite Disney characters. You can already see little shops with Minnie and Mickey ears. Oh, they're so pretty. To get to the rides, we have to walk down Main Street. It's a street full of shops and restaurants. And there is the cinema that's playing Steamboat Willie, one of the first Mickey cartoons. And straight ahead is Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Isn't it beautiful? We're going to go inside and learn the story of Sleeping Beauty. Here is the entrance. The sign says Sleeping Beauty Castle. In faraway land long, long ago lived a king and his queen. Many years had they longed for a child, and finally their wish was granted. A daughter was born. They called her Aurora. There are the three godmothers, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. The fairy godmothers cast a spell and it put everyone to sleep, including Aurora, to protect them from the witch. Aurora laid asleep until the spell was broken, and this is how she got the name Sleeping Beauty. High atop the tower, Princess Aurora slept, awaiting the noble Prince Philip, who would one day come to release her from her slumber with true love's kiss. We are at the end of our journey through the castle. The end. And that's the story of Sleeping Beauty. And look how her dress changes colors. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.